When I first started investing, one of the first books I ever read, which probably most of you watching this channel have read as well, is Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And if you haven't read the book or listened to the book, um, I strongly recommend that you just YouTube Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. There's a number of videos that have the audio version of the book. I strongly recommend checking that one out. It's truly inspirational. But one of the things that I took away from that book was his definition of an asset and a liability. And his view is an asset is something that puts money into your pocket and a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. And the examples he uses is uh, real estate. So if we've got two houses, one that you rent, one that you live, um, in the rent version, you bring in cash flow through uh, a tenant and money comes out of your pocket in terms of a mortgage. So this one is a liability because money comes out of your pocket and this is an asset because it puts money into your pocket. You still invested into this asset, but one is, an, um, one is bringing money into your pocket, one is taking money out of your pocket. And that's the main premise of his uh, uh, view of an asset and a liability. And that's the premise of this uh, kind of video here. And what I'm going to do is walk you through how you can turn your stock portfolio into Robert Kiyosaki's definition of bringing money into your pocket. Now, when you invest in stocks, you, there is a way to bring money into your pocket through the traditional methods, and that is through uh, dividend uh, stocks, right? So you take an example of Johnson & Johnson, great company. Uh, I invest a small amount of money into Johnson & Johnson just because it's a stock that you want to own for life, right? They pay, you know, a circa 3% uh, dividend. So every year, it, for every $1,000 you invest, you get what is three percent of a thousand? <laughs> you get you get uh, three hundred dollars. No, it's definitely not three hundred dollars, is it? It's thirty dollars. <laughs> so I can even get my math properly. You get thirty dollars every single year of um, uh, dividend income. So you have turned that asset into uh, or that stock into an asset because it brings money into your pocket. However, three percent a year isn't very attractive to me, which is why at the time. I started to invest in terms of real estate because if I put a hundred grand into uh, a property versus a hundred grand into Johnson & Johnson, again, I make more return inside the property. Yes, it's more hassle and dealing with tenants and things like that, but the uh, re uh, reward is a lot greater on that side of things. So when I started um, you know, learning more and more about investing, I came across the concept of options trading and uh, selling options. And one of the things that, that really resonated with me was the concept of the covered call option strategy. And what this is, is where if you own 100 shares of a company, right, you can sell covered calls for options premium. And what that basically means is, is that you are willing to sell your 100 shares of the underlying stock at a future date, at a price that you set, and the buyer of this option would pay you a premium for that right. And that was an absolute game changer for me in terms of magnifying my kind of returns. So I'm going to just walk you through an example of, you know, a stock that I'm accumulating 100 shares of at the moment, um, what I plan to do and what I plan to do with that cash flow. And you can do the same as well for your own stock portfolio. So again, I've got a lot of uh, writing here because I went through this with my uh, with my options trading group earlier. But Example we're going to use is uh, Facebook. So Facebook is currently trading at $192. Now let's say, for example, that I own 100 shares at $190, which is around 19 and 19K. What we've got here on, the, on this uh, left-hand side here are the actual strike prices that I'm willing to sell covered calls for uh, 29 days out of the current date today. So let's just say I'm willing to sell a covered call at $210. So I bought it at um, 
190. I want to write a covered call at 210. Now, looking at this options chain, the premium you can collect is $4 per share, which is $400 uh, cash flow coming into your pocket as soon as this option, uh, as soon as a buyer fills this option, which is in options terms is pretty much in, is instantaneous, assuming you're not asking too much from the, uh, from the bid and the ask, right? So Facebook don't pay a dividend, right? <coughs> so, so Facebook don't pay a dividend. So I have an asset currently that I'm relying on capital appreciation of the current underlying, which in this case is Facebook. But what I've done is I've turned that asset in everyone else's definition into a Robert Kiyosaki's definition of now Facebook is bringing me $400 uh, over the next 29 days. And if Facebook goes, if Facebook stays below 210, um, yeah, if Facebook uh, so stays below 210 uh, and even goes down from the current price of 192, I keep this $400 no matter what. And if Facebook goes to 210 or above, I then sell my 100 shares, but I keep that $400. And I'm not going to go into the advanced strategies of what happens if you go above, but you want to keep your shares and all these other things. I just want to frame your current investment portfolio of stocks that you might own, right? whether it is Johnson Johnson <coughs> or Apple or smaller cap stocks that don't pay dividends, but you own over 100 shares, you can utilize this strategy to start bringing money into your pocket. So if we just use an example at the moment of, let's just say, I did write that contract. So month one, uh, I make $400. Now, let's just say Facebook does drop in value, right? It goes from 192 to 180, right? And that same uh, strike price in month two, let's say I can only make $300 um, as, part of, as part of that. And then in month three, let's just say it stays around that same price. Uh, so then I can, again, only do a $300 um, covered call. So what's that? That's $1,000 in three months on a what was that a 19k asset um that i that i invested in where before i didn't even know that this even existed so i've just made an extra one thousand dollars that while i'm holding an asset that's worth nineteen thousand. so think about the rent example with the uh with the house like if i put 19k down and i made what's that it's probably just uh, th uh 333 dollars a month in rent right it's the same type of concept. And this, again, was an absolute game changer to me. And I've got a video on the stocks that I'm doing this now. I make just under $1,500 a month um, utilizing this strategy. So I'll put a link to that in, in the top right and down below so you can see what I'm doing with my current portfolio uh, to do that. And what I'm doing at the moment um, uh, with this is that if we take this one thousand uh, dollar example at the moment? So, um, well, let's use the three hundred or three hundred thirty three dollars, roughly, right? That's there thereabouts, right? What well, the average is, right? So, I'm making three hundred thirty three dollars a month. What I can do is I can either go withdraw it and pay my car payment, go on holiday, whatever I want to do with that money, right? It's your money at the end of the day. The second thing you can do is invest uh gains into facebook right so again if let's say facebook has gone down from your it's at 180 170 um potentially i can then utilize this 300 or this thousand dollars right and buy like two and a bit shares or fractional shares or whatever the price currently is um into facebook all i can do is uh invest into new stocks um, to gain 100 shares, right? And again, I'm just going to make this example up, right? So I'm going to take Fubo. Uh, Fubo is currently trading at around three dollars twenty ish uh, ish per per share. So to accumulate 100 shares, it's going to be around three hundred and twenty dollars, right? Now I make that pretty much on a monthly basis, right? So in one month. I can go buy 100 shares of Fubo 
and start selling covered calls against it, right? Now, because it's only a $300 stock, you're not going to get huge amounts of money, but you can probably make about, uh, I would say, 15 to $20 a month uh, with this. So that 330 now starts to become 350 a month, right? And now you can see of how n uh, next month you can go buy, you know, 200 shares, 300 shares, 400 shares, and that then starts to grow. If you've got a thousand shares at 3,000, for example, right, that is 150 to 200. Now, I'm not saying to go buy Fubo or to go buy Facebook here. I'm just showing you an example of how you can then accumulate this money to either go reinvest to go buy more shares of the companies that you own in your portfolio to go get you up to 100 shares or to 200 shares 300 shares because again when you sell options it's always in blocks of 100 right so instead of 100 shares equals one contract so here i'm selling one covered call contract one covered call contract one covered call contract if i was to buy 200 shares of uh, Fubo, I can sell two covered call contracts, etc. So what I'm saying is, is that you can start turning this, your portfolio into this cash flow asset machine, as you would do with kind of real estate, um, to be able to make these types of gains. And on the screen now, I've got um, where I do my real estate portfolio versus my stock portfolio in terms of which one actually makes more money. So I would click on that and check out that video. And again, this is a huge concept. Comment, like, subscribe down below. And I shall see you guys in the next video.